Hey everybody, Kevin here, and in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to show you how to set up Groove Blog. But before we get into the video, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of these 50 and 50 videos where we're talking about everything you need to know to build your own funnel and system with Groove. Let's take a look. We're going to get started. We're going to go right into Groove Blog. And I'm going to show you how to create your blog and then go into the settings. So what we're going to do is new blog. And then we're just going to give this blog a name. And we're going to call it Groove How To's. And when we work with a subdomain, the subdomain is not critical at this point unless you're not going to use a custom domain. But because we're going to use a custom domain, I'm just going to put Kevin Streit Demo in here and choose that just as a way of separating this blog from all of the other blogs in the grooveblog.com and go ahead with that because I'm going to use my own custom domain in just a moment. So what we're going to do once we have the blog created is just go through the steps from settings to navigation to theme to categories. Um, we're going to walk through them one at a time. This is just the default. And we're going to go right into settings, skip the SEO, and we're going to go to domains. And like I said, this is where you can use a custom domain for your blog. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll go to one of my domains that I have in my account, Groove Answers Fast. I'm going to choose that, and then I'm going to put the information in the root domain in a folder. So you'll be able to see that I'm going to GrooveAnswersFast.com slash blog. Now, I could use a subdomain. And here's what that would look like if I add a subdomain and just type in the word blog and add a new subdomain here. You're going to see that it would be on blog.grooveanswersfast.com slash blog. And so I'm going to change that folder in this, uh, this way of doing it to posts. And you can see that what the URL would be there. I'm going to put it back to the root because I actually want it as a folder on my main domain, grooveanswersfast.com slash blog. And so we're going to continue through our settings. We're going to save that. We're going to go delete the uh, default logo. Go grab my logo, uh, just like we would for any image in Groove. We're going to add that one. We're going to go get a favicon the exact same way. Go grab a favicon. I'm just going to get a random image here for my favicon for this demo. We're going to go to social links. And from here, we can put links into Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, all of our social profiles. So I'll put facebook.com slash your best groove slash your best groove. And I'm going to choose an icon after I put that in. I always search with lowercase here. And I'm just going to look for Facebook. And those icons come up. I'm going to grab this one. So I'm going to skip the comments for now. I have another video coming on that. But let's talk about forms. We can have a form on our blog where we can collect a name and an email address. And so we can give it a header. Uh, we can give it a description. And so uh, I'm just going to put this header in, join us at Groove Answers Fast. Leave the description in the way it is. And then what Groove is doing is giving us access to all of the Groove forms, Groove mail forms that we have in our account. And so I'm just going to scroll down through here and pick one uh, complete groove guides as my form, but probably we would have a form called blog form and we would build that in groove mail. So let's change the copyright and this section embed ads would allow us to put uh, embed code for ads. And so, you know, groove in their uh, promotional tools has ads that you can grab the code for and you could put these in. They show up as the header the footer and the sidebar so you can put ads right on your blog so that when people come to it they can click on them and go directly to something that you're an affiliate for or something that you're selling. Uh, we can put our tracking and pixels right in here. We can put our meta title, our meta details. We can put our OG, open graph uh, information in here. This is what gets, sh gets shared on social media when you share your blog. And the image is also part of what gets shared. So we grab that from our library as well. So we have now completed the settings part. We're ready to move on to navigation. 
So in navigation, you can see that there is on the top of our blog three sections that come in immediately, software and solutions and about us. And I'm just going to edit these and make them my own. So I'll put a menu item up here called Groove Answers and send it to GrooveAnswersFast.com. Open it, that in a new tab. I'm going to do the same thing for the second one, make it Groove Builds for you. On the About Us tab, I'm going to leave it go for now, but we can... We can send about us to a page that you know is about us, uh, and we can also delete it, which I'm going to do for now. Then we have footer navigation, same thing. Uh, you click the three dots to edit those so you have them the way you want them. So you can see at the top now, the about us is gone because we deleted it. So not only do we have links, but we have categories that are at the top of our, they're kind of the sub menu on the blog. And we can choose to show these or not show them. But here is where we choose which categories we are going to sort of make as a quick click. So if somebody comes and they just want to see tips and tricks, they would click it. And then the blog is going to sort just uh, filter for just those categories. Let's go take a look at the theme and let's go set up how we want our blog, our posts to look. So in the theme, we can change the heading font. We can change it to these three fonts. We can change the size. We have small, medium, and large. We can change the body font. Uh, we have colors that we can change for all of the aspects of our posts. And so we can change our links to a particular color, make it a branded color. We can change the button colors to also a branded color. And uh, so we can just use the same thing if you want to, or probably a better idea would be to change the links so that they look more like links and then brand your buttons. Um, and we can change the header background on the blog itself. So let's also brand that and take a look that this is going to have now my branded color on the blog and it'll have, it's going to have my logo over here, but this is just again the template of what it looks like. And then for layout, we have some other options. What do we want to have on our layout? So we can uh, change the sidebar. Uh, we can change the opt-in form. Uh, basically change what we're going to have showing. So the sidebar is this area right here. We can turn it on, turn it off. We can show categories. Uh, we can show an opt-in form. Um, that's the form that we configured earlier on settings. We can turn it on, turn it off. Uh, we can choose whether we're going to show dates in the actual posts and we can choose uh, the number of posts that we're going to have on our home page. We can change our style of posts that are showing from list and we can do a grid and what's called masonry as well. So you just want to choose the one you like and go with that. And then we can sort the posts um, by alphabet or by last updated or first created and that's it for the overall uh, blog style as well as the home page style. So let's take a look at categories. What we want to do is sort of decide what categories of posts that we are going to have. So we can add a category. Uh, we're just going to call it new category. Give it a slug. This is where it's the slug that's going to be when they select these categories uh, on the on the menu when they click it and then we just give it a description and we choose whether or not we're going to show it in navigation so this is the same thing that was back earlier in the settings uh, and the navigation where we could choose which ones are there and which ones aren't so we're going to choose to put it there it's going to be in the navigation and then we can also delete a category here uh, we can also see the number of posts that are in a category so that is the category set up in the category screen. All right, let's go create a post. And the post begins with a title. And I'm just going to make this build your first groove blog. And then we enter a description. These are the things that show up on the home page when your blogs are showing. So this post will help you build your first blog. Um, and then we're going to look at content. So within the content panel, we have a plus sign. And the plus sign lets us do images, videos, and embed code, but we also want to just put typed words or typed content. So 
We're going to put, first of all, adding content to your first blog, and then we're going to highlight it and change it to a heading one. So we have access to change H1 through H6 or just normal text, which is going to help us with our SEO so we can have keywords in our H1 and help people find our blog. So we type in the text and then we highlight the text in order to format the text. So let's take another look at uh, this text that I call step one. We'll just put step one in here. And when we highlight it, we have access to the text formatting. It's not like in Groove Pages where it's on the right. Uh, it just is the formatting right below the text there. So you have to highlight it. And then we can make it a, um, a list, a numbered list or a bullet list. And we can do other types of formatting there, the text color and all that good stuff. Let's add a video. And it's going to take us right to our Groove Video Library. We can also do external URLs, but I'm going to show you how to put a Groove video in. So we're going to select the video and select, and boom, we just added a Groove video. Uh, it's going to come in with the Groove video settings and all, and uh, it's ready to be a part of your blog post. Let's go ahead also and put an image at the top of this post. So let's go in, grab an image. Uh, we'll just grab this one for now and put it up there. So we you can see, build your first Groove blog. We've got an image. We've got content. We've got formatted text. Uh, we have a video. As I said, with text, you can change the color of the text. You can change the background of the text. Um, you can change the, uh, the way the text is centered or justified. And that basically is the content. Let's do some work on the settings. So we can, again, just like most blog platforms, we can grab a featured image. And we do that with the image library, just like we do with all of Groove. We can change the post slug if we want to, but the post slug uh, primarily is going to be uh, the, the name of the post by default. We can also choose the date. What date are we going to post this on? And so we can, we can uh, do it in the future and schedule it. Or we can backdate it. We can put it back to where, uh, you know, so we can show historical data. You know, a blog with earlier posts is a better than a blog that just has a new post on it. So we're going to go ahead and change the date here. And then we can choose, after that, we can choose what categories we want this post to be uh, posted to. So I'm going to choose these two at the bottom here. And we're going to use those for the categories. We can add keywords. Uh, we can put an excerpt from the post. So we can just go grab this, paste it into our excerpt. And we can add it to the carousel at the top or not. We can show it on the home page or not. And we can allow comments. I'm going to have a video on comments uh, probably tomorrow. And I'll show you how you can add those to your post. But we have metadata. We have the open graph information that is pulled right from the post. Uh, this section here is pulled from the H1 uh, heading area so that it, it's kind of the, the main heading basically of the post. And then we have an image down there as well that we can change if we want to. Otherwise, it's going to use the default, uh, the one that we chose as the featured image. Well, let's save this and let's go ahead and exit. And now you can see that it's sitting there as a draft. So we've created the post. It's sitting there as a draft. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the post. And when we're ready, we're going to publish it. We can, first of all, though, look at a preview. So here's a preview. We can make sure it looks the way we want. We get out of the preview. We can go back and we can click publish. And now it's going to be live on our blog. So we've just created our blog, we've formatted it, we've created the first post, we've published it, and we're ready now to do a couple of other things with posts before we leave. One of the things is you might have a format that you want all of your posts to have, and so you can clone a post, uh, you can create a post from a previous post, and then you can just go in and edit the information so that um, it's a new post. The other thing I want to show you though in here is that you is the scheduling option. So when you put the date as in the future, you're going to see up here a button now says instead of publish, it says schedule. And so when you click schedule and go back to the post screen, you'll see that you have a post scheduled. 
So this lets you schedule posts for a week, for a month, however long you want to, uh, and they're just going to automatically post every day or every week, however you have them dated. All right, so our post, our blog now is at GrooveAnswersFast.com slash blog. And here we can see the categories at the top. We can scroll down through it. We can see our new post. We can click on our post. You can see how it is right out here on the site, on the blog site itself. And we're good to go. All right, that is 15 minutes to set up your blog Comment below if you have a question. Comment below how it goes for you to set up your blog. Would love to hear from you. And I'm going to do a couple more videos about blog. But for today, I wanted to make sure I got you this video so you can get your blog started. All right, let's go now and go ahead and create a post. Uh, what we want to do, 